Okay. Okay. So, in your view, in your view, the word God. No, the word no disembodied mind. mind. The phrase God is not clearly mind. defined. The phrase disembodied mind is not clearly defined. No. Sure. Sure. That is that is clearly defined. You have. So a define mind. it. Go ahead. Define it to me. Disembodied. And, disembodied. Hold on, wait, wait. I have one request. Use a definition that is useful. Yeah. Disembodied means something that exists. How could the mind be disembodied? Does, okay. <laughs> okay. Well, that's that's an entirely different subject, what and I hope you. I think you forgot. I today. think you forgot that I'm not talking to you because of your rude. Well, you seem to be talking to me right now. I'm trying to. I'm trying to remind you because you have a short-term memory. I'm no, oh, no longer I talking no to you. You're I remember you saying that. Wall, I just disregarded okay? it. So, I, I, I don't have a problem with my memory. Okay, I remember so you said unicorn. No, okay. See, this is this is what happens when you dialogue with some atheists. They don't know how to have an adult conversation. Now, that, that's sorry, not directed to you, Unicorn. To Shut talk your talk mouth. To you. I'm talking to Unicorn. Shut your mouth. Okay, you arrogant so, fucking unicorn. spastic. Okay, Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. So, Unicorn. Disembodied. There you are. That's fixed okay. it. Disen disembodied is a meaningful term. It refers to something that might or could exist that does not have the properties of materiality or in this case a body for example have you ever heard of the term the Boltzmann's brain unicorn uh, no okay good it's a term that is used in in philosophy and a little bit of cosmology it is referring to a mind that could come into existence through whatever means but it is not one that is from a, a flesh and blood body. So it would be by definition a disembodied mind. Now if you if you are going to say that a disembodied mind is meaningless or incoherent, then you're going to have to reject the idea in philosophy and cosmology of what what is known as a Boltzmann's brain. And yet, the concept of Boltzmann's brain you, you will find be, being re in reference in philosophical and some scientific literature. It is not meaningless. That doesn't mean that somebody believes that it definitely exists, but that it is a meaningful concept that can be used. So the very fact that I have cited uh, the use of Boltzmann brains refutes your position. Is that posited to be a physical thing? Or it's, it's, it, is, it is a disembodied mind. It is an unembodied no, mind. Why use the word brain? Okay, do you understand that in order for your argument to be successful, or if your argument is successful, then what you have done is you have indicted the philosophical and some of the cosmological community when they have discussed the idea of Boltzmann brains, that that is a meaningless discussion. Are you prepared to indict those who have written papers and discussions on Boltzmann brains? I'm unclear on what, whether or not it's physical or non-physical. Okay, it's a disin a Boltzmann brain is a term that refers to an unembodied mind that comes into existence other than being encased in a skull and a brain. It's a disembodied mind. Now, is a Boltzmann brain, the way I have clarified it for you, is that meaningless? It doesn't seem like it's this. Like, I don't know. Like, if you're just defining it as disembodied, okay. I don't know. Is the phrase is the phrase an unembodied mind meaningless? A disembodied mind, the phrase disembodied mind is meaningless. Yes. Good. Okay, good. What you have just now done, what you have now what you have now done mm -hmm. is you have content you have condemned that area of the philosophical and cosmological world that has had uh, numerous papers and discussions on the concept or the possibility of a Boltzmann brain. Mm -hmm. You have you have said that everything that has been written about that it's not that you're not saying that it's not possible. You're saying that it is meaningless. Yes. Okay. That is that is quite a um, how shall I put this? Um, uh, and I'll, I want to be gracious because you're you're being cool. Um, that is quite <laughs> that is a claim 
that um, is is not quite humble, because that, now what you're saying is if you look up an entry to a Baltimore brain, either on Wikipedia, philosophical or cosmological uh, um, sites, or books, or texts, or definitions, mm -hmm. that they are they are all meaningless because by definition, a Baltimore brain is an unembodied mind. You're saying that this is just, so. So does this? Actually, I'm this? looking up the Boltzmann brain. Yeah, so am I. I don't see anything about it being That's disembodied. It is an unembodied. It is a mind. It is a mind that arises due to circumstances, properties, and attributes that is not encased in a body as we know it. It is an unembodied. Mind. But is it not made up of matter and energy and things okay. that what, okay. are physical? Okay, it is an, Do you understand what unembodied means? What what dis? Okay, this okay. is my understanding. The my, brain uh, is unembodied. The operation up. of the brain is not encased in a body. Well, so so, but the brain still exists. So unicorn. Okay. Okay. Still okay. One more time, unicorn. A <laughs> un, unembodied means right, there, not child. encased in a body. Okay, look. Okay. The, look. When when we say disembodied mind, we don't mean like a krang that sits in a giant robot. What what we mean by disembodied mind? It, it means a mind that operates or exists. A physical media. Excuse me. No, no. Okay. Here's the big mistake you're making. Okay. Darwin's, there I'm is trying nothing... to explain to you what I'm meaning by what I'm saying. I when understand I say that. I don't think you do because you're giving me an example of something that's still physical. What we say. No. What we mean confusing. Say, let me get my definition. No, 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 go ahead. Go ahead. Okay? So what what we mean, at least what I mean, I'm not going to say we. What I mean when I say disembodied mind is a functioning mind absent a physical medium. That's not what disembodied means. But that's what we mean. When we use the term. Mind, disembodied. No, a disembodied means it is something that is in operation outside of a body. Now. You're playing semantics. No, that's what disembodied means. But, well, we, but, but, but again, remember, this goes back to our language conversation. Words have certain context okay. and usages. Well, 